just test this out by clicking on play and you can see that the rain falls on Jaguar's body. It even bounces off his back and that is really cool. And I'm going to first try circling over Jaguar's face. Let's check if Samsung sent you the best phone or is it a lemon? Top 10 most important things to do on your brand new Samsung S24 series phone which will not only get you the best out of your phone but will also protect it. Before we get into the 10 tips, I'll start with a bonus tip because that is the most important tip of all. So let's switch to the top view. Bonus tip, protecting your battery. Go to the settings and search for battery protection. And once you get into battery protection, there are three options. Number one is maximum. This will stop charging when the phone reaches 80%. You can also do basic which will charge it to 100% and then stop charging until it goes back to 95%. And adaptive is a mix of both. Adaptive basically detects your phone usage patterns and switches between basic and maximum. I would highly recommend maximum so your phone's battery can last a very long time or at the very least start with basic. Tip number one, let's check if Samsung sent you the best phone or is it a lemon? Is there a defect with it? To do so, you have to go into the members app, Samsung members app. And if you don't have an account, you can sign in with your Samsung account and go into support. And once you are in support, you can look for diagnostics and under phone diagnostics, it has 26 items that you can test and you need to test all of this to ensure that everything works properly including the sim card the fingerprint the cameras the location the microphones the speakers the flashlight all the buttons and even the battery i'm gonna go check the battery status and let's run a test and as it says here life is good capacity is 5000 milliamp hour which is typical so battery status normal Likewise, you can test all of these items, all 26, to ensure that everything works properly. Tip number two, enable circle to search. I would just simply search for circle to search and that would bring up this option here that says circle to search. It's under display navigation bar and I like to keep it with the buttons option, but you can also change it to swipe gestures, which basically turns the buttons at the bottom to a swiping gesture mechanism. And once you have enabled circle to search, tap and hold the home button, click on continue here and it is asking you to try it out. And I'm going to first try circling over Jaguar's face and it is searching and it says it's a Bichon Freeze, Coton de Tullier, and that is the type of dog Jaguar is. So it did a good job searching. So my friends, that is circle to search, very powerful option. Please do enable that. Tip number three, go to settings about phone and you can give your phone a proper name of your choice. Usually it has a default name with your name in it. You don't want people to know your name, then you can change it or you can make it something unique and it'll appear on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi devices. Tip number four is really cool. It is photo ambient wallpapers. And to set up that, you need to go into settings and search for wallpapers and you got photo ambient wallpaper here and once you are in photo ambient wallpaper you can set this to on it basically changes your photos behavior based on time and weather and that my friends was the ai doing its trick to create photo ambient wallpapers just test this out by clicking on play and you can see that the rain falls on jaguar's body it even bounces off his back and that is really cool. Photo ambient wallpapers, my friends. That should be something you should try. And the next tip is enabling Dolby Atmos. I'm going to search for Dolby in my settings here. And it says Dolby Atmos Experience Breakthrough Audio. And I'm going to enable this because Dolby Atmos sounds amazing. You will enjoy your movie and music much better with Dolby Atmos enabled and you also have an equalizer here in case you want to adjust the settings to pop, classic, jazz, rock and whatnot. But Dolby Atmos is the way to go. And the next tip is to customize the power button on the side. 
and if you search for power you will see how to power off your phone tap on that and by default it's usually quick camera launch but i have set it to open the flashlight app when double pressed on the side button here and this enables me to open flashlight real quick you can also set it to open a app of your choice and the next tip is to get the best out of your video so search for video brightness in settings and once you are in the video brightness options you can select normal or bright to get the best out of this beautiful display select bright and that way your videos can be so much more brighter and vivid so if you want it to be bright only for prime video or youtube you can select and customize those here now this next trick is to intelligently format everything in your notes app this is a grocery list that i created in my notes app and let's go into this note here just like you do in your older samsung phones and click on this ai button and once you click on this AI button, it will ask you if auto format summarizing and all should be enabled. I'm going to click on OK. Once you have selected the text you want to format, you can click on this AI button right here. And here the options come up auto format, summarize and translate. I'm going to auto format this and I would like it to be headers and bullets. So let's try that out. And it is doing its magic. And here grocery list, general items. It even knew what vegetables I had and it says Italian ingredients Wow this is really intelligent that it could do this and that is a great way of intelligently formatting any text that you have in your notes app and for the next step let's go into adaptive color tone search for adaptive color tone in your settings here if you set the adaptive color tone toggle to on based on the lighting conditions it will adjust the color and white balance so that the pictures look more natural and for the display i have set it to dark and this is where you can also set the adaptive brightness which means it will adapt the brightness based on the light conditions around you this will not only conserve battery it will also protect your eyes speaking of protecting your eyes the next step is going to be super cool especially late at night when you do not want your phone to be super bright go into settings and search for extra dim that is under visual enhancements if you want to go directly set the extra dim to on this way late at night when you are looking at your phone this can go to the lowest possible brightness that way it won't harm your eyes and will also conserve the phone's battery and within the extra dim settings you can also set the intensity of the dimness if you don't want it to be too dim you can adjust the settings right here and for those who stayed till the end here is an extra bonus tip and the next step is to set lock screen widgets by going into settings and if you search for lock screen and aod you can see widgets here and this is really cool you have widgets for music weather schedule alarm and whatnot I have by default enabled weather and the next alarm but you can choose music or any other widget of your choice it'll basically show useful info when you tap the clock on the lock screen those were the most important top 10 tips and tricks but I'm gonna create videos of more important tips and tricks give me that thumbs up if this video was helpful to you thank you so much for watching until next time take care see you in the next one